One of the reasons why I'm so zoomed out right now is because next to me is the infamous Apple Studio Cinema HD 30 inch display from way back in the day. And I've done a couple of videos about this awesome display. For one, it's just an awesome monitor even today. And the best part is, is you can get it for a steal if you know where to look. It works great with M1 and M2 based Apple Silicon, but the latest generation, which is right here, the M3 Max MacBook Pros, it no longer works. And in one of my videos, I showed you, you need this special dongle right here to enable this to work correctly with all Apple Silicon. So let me show you what happens when I connect this to this display using this dongle on the M3 based processors. Absolutely nothing. So sometimes you can get it to work, but then the image is scrambled or it's in three slices and it's completely like you're in a different reality. And that is not okay. And I just really was trying to figure out how do I get this awesome display to work with this adapter with the newest M3 Max technology. And so there is a solution and I'm about to show it to you. And the solution comes by way of this interesting adapter right here. And I'll leave links down below for all of these adapters so you're able to use the Apple 30 inch display with your current day M3 based Max. And so it's this right here. It takes the converted dual link display signal from the 30 inch through the Club 3D uh, converter, which is then using USB-C here, and that takes the USB-C input into this and converts it to HDMI, but you also need to plug in this, which is the USB. You're gonna take up one of your USB-C slots and the HDMI. So it's basically allowing you to use the HDMI on your MacBook Pro. So let's see what happens if we connect the Club 3D to this via HDMI and the USB-C. And, and there is a USB, regular USB port, and then I just have a little converter to go USB to USB-C. So I'll leave links for that as well. Boom, there we go. We have an amazing image. So there you have it. Now we are fully connected to the 30 inch Apple Cinema HD display and this is pretty awesome to have this much canvas connected to the M3 based MacBook Pro and it's just via the Club 3D and this simple HDMI adapter here that allows the signal to be driven through the M3 based Mac. So that gives new life to this awesome display. There is another problem though which is you've lost a USB-C port but you've got your HDMI port also used. You're now down to just two USB-C ports, so what on earth do we do? That's where these come in. These are awesome docking stations from Yoda Master, not to be confused with Master Yoda. Yoda Master brings us these two awesome docking stations so that you can regain some of the ports you just lost by connecting to this awesome display. This one here gives you two HDMI ports, USB 3 ports, USB-C, display port even, which is pretty awesome, more USBs on the front, an SD card and a micro SD card slot, a headphone jack, and another Thunderbolt port. And this one actually has a power delivery port as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, and Ethernet, I forgot about that. This dongle right here, it's kind of a gold color, and I think there are other colors available, but it has a display port, an HDMI, another HDMI, two USB 3 ports, another USB 3 port, a display port right here, and Ethernet. Oh, and a power delivery USB-C right here, and a headphone jack. So this one is nice and small, gives you also this adapter so you can connect either regular USB or USB-C, so you really have no excuses. You can take this one with you and be good to go. And what's cool is, is the HDMI ports support 4K at 60 Hertz, so any 4K display that you normally use with your Mac, 
will work great with this stock. You can have one Thunderbolt cable coming from this into your M3 based Mac and have all of your devices connected to this one brick right here or this brick right here. So this gives you a plethora of options. Thanks to Yoda Master for sending these to me to try out and to tell you guys about. I think these are great solutions to give a lot of your ports back since you are giving up a USB-C port here and your HDMI port when you're connected to this awesome 30 inch Apple display. So I'll have links down below for all of these awesome peripherals and devices. I'm just here to help you guys figure out ways to make your old Mac devices work with your modern day Mac devices. And also just to share these cool peripherals and docks from a company like Yoda Master. I've actually never seen a dock with so many ports on it. I mean, look at all these USB, two USB 3s, two regular USBs, and it's really well made and looks good. So that is pretty awesome. So thank you guys so much for checking out this quick video to give you ideas on how to get all of these peripherals and things connected to your new M3 based Mac. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're able to find one of these awesome 30 inch Apple displays and you're able to get it connected to your M3 based Mac. I'll leave links down below for all of these products. Big shout out to Yoda Master for sending me these cool dock devices. I think they're really spectacular. They're well built. They're built to last and I think they're pretty awesome. Check out my links down below for that. If you can, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked today's content and ring that bell to get notified when I dropped new content and I'll see all of you guys on my next video.